solar cells are not connected with any external bias so we have a solar cell here and it's directly connected to a motor so there is no external source of emf which is connected to this solar cell so let us put the solar cell to the sun and rotate the motor here okay so you see the solar cell acts as a source of emf the light energy is being converted to electrical energy which is then converted to kinetic energy of the motor so yes there is no biasing for the solar cell the junction area of a solar cell is smaller compared to that of a photodiode so let us look at the two right here okay so this is a solar cell photodiode is similar to this it just has a black coating okay now this on solar cell this is the n side then you have the junction and then you have the p side now the junction area is made very large because this need to capture a lot of photons and that is converted to energy whereas the photodiode just needs to detect the intensity at a particular point so the junction area is very small in the photodiode as compared to the solar cell led is made of a lightly doped pn junction okay so in a led the light comes because the charge carriers are uh, jumping between valence band and conduction band so we need to have more number of charge carriers jumping for a good amount of light so an led be led has to be highly doped not lightly doped